Welcome to Sunny Stamping Studio and today I'm going to be showing you a few tips and techniques for making up this card over here. Now I'm not going to put the whole card together but I'm going to show you the basic things that you may want to know. Um, for instance I use the new smooch spritz that is coming out uh, very shortly in the next uh, mini and a little trick for putting your letters on straight and for coloring up your uh, delicate pieces like the leaves. Okay. So let's get started. Um, for the background over here, I use the smooch spritzers. Now, as you can see, it's probably going to be hard. It's a very shimmery type of spray paint, and it's coming in four colors. So we have um, the gold one, I don't know the exact names, the log cabin, which is the brown, um, a silver metallic, and a pearl white. They are absolutely gorgeous, and let me tell you, I have been going nuts with them. Um, I think I've been spraying absolutely everything in sight. And, and for this one here, I'm down to about this much, and I've been using it a lot, so it's, it does last for quite a while. Now you're going to notice that a lot of the, um, I know it's going to be hard to tell on the film, but the pigment is kind of laying, uh, or the shimmer is laying on whatever side it's laying on, so if it's like this, it's going to be on the bottom. You want to make sure that really gets mixed into the whole mixture before using it. Okay, so you're going to like shake it up and make sure it's all well blended before spraying. Okay. So to get started, I took my um, my little leaf die and I die cut a bunch of leaves out of it. Now, as you can see, these are the ones that I used for my original card. We're just going to reuse them. Now, I also have the box um, for for doing the spritzing. This is so that you don't absolutely spritz everything in sight uh, because that wouldn't be good. It doesn't really help your table to have shimmer everywhere. So you're going to take your cardstock. I'm going to pan out a little bit here. Okay, uh, there we go. So I'm going to put, lay my thing down over here, my little paper, my background, and I'm going to lay um, the negatives on. Okay, so I'm going to get negative images. I mean, it's going to be the area where the image was. Um, the other way you could do it is to take the actual cut images and lay the leaves across and then spritz down. So you would scatter your leaves and then you have a negative impression. Um, on here, when you remove it, you'd have the blank space, whereas I'm using the blank space of the cutouts to create my background. So I'm going to lay them out in a pattern. Okay, now you want to make sure that there is no uh, little gapes of, um, of color anywhere. Like you don't want to have um, any of the background showing. Otherwise, you're going to have like this little square of spritzed color, which uh, wouldn't really look that great. Okay, and then my final piece I'm going to put over here. Now, as you can tell, I have a little space over there that's showing. I want that covered up, so I'm just going to grab a little bit of scrap. Oh, go figure, I emptied my scrap in. Okay, and I'm going to cover that up. Okay. Now this method uses a little bit more spritz, like it does waste a little bit on the sides. The other one you'll get less wastage just because you're only covering a small area with the leaves. So I'm going to shake up my spritzer and then holding it a few inches from it I'm going to spray down. It doesn't need to be super strong, just you know, determine how dark you'd like it. And at this point you're going to let it dry. Um, I'm going to wait till it dries a bit before removing the pieces. So I'm just going to carefully move this out of the way. And put that down below to dry. Okay. So the next thing we're going to look at is a little trick for um, when you want to sponge your these like delicate little pieces where sponging may cause it to, um, to rip the stems. So what you're going to do for a case like this is you are going to keep your image inside the actual um, frame that you cut it out of and then you're going to sponge it from within here okay so you would actually just carefully run your sponge along the edges making sure that you don't color the whole area you do want to leave bits of uh, pale area if you want to go a second color you might want to take a dauber and then just go delicately along the edges here so that it's just kind of gradually going from light to dark Okay, so a little tip, uh, tip for when you're sponging your leaves. And the final little thing that I'm going to show you before we lift off the papers is how to get your letters straight. Now, some people may know this little trick. Um, not everyone does. But it makes a huge difference in your sanity level. 
If you're like me and you're really anal and you really need to have your letters on straight, otherwise it just drives you bananas and you can't give the card away because it looks ridiculous, all crooked, then this is the, tri the tip for you. So you're going to line up your words onto the grid paper, making sure that it's nice and straight. And of course the grid paper is perfect for this. Okay. Next you're going to be taking this tape over here. It's called Matte Finish Scotch Tape. Now you should be able to find this at any office supply store. Um, you do not want regular tape. It's too sticky. This stuff has a, just a tacky film. Okay. And then you're going to remove some of it. And I don't know why I did that because I had a piece already cut out and I don't want to waste. Okay. So this stuff is reusable. Like once I use it once, I actually save it for another use. You're going to lay it on top. Okay. Then I'm going to flip it over, apply my glue with my Tombow multi-purpose adhesive. And then when it's ready, I'm ready to put it onto the actual card. I would take it and I would line it up nice and straight. I would press down gently to work that glue into the paper. Give it a couple seconds to dry and then very gently, um, and if you notice the kind of lift I'm doing, I'm very, now it will be glued down, don't forget, I'm very carefully peeling it off the paper. I'm moving sideways like this when I'm removing it. Obviously it's not sticking now because it's not glued. But when you do, that is the trick that's going to absolutely save you um, ruining your card after putting a lot of work into it. So we're ready to go back to the spritzed background. Okay, now this stuff does dry a lot faster than some of the ones in the market. You may have heard of glimmer mists and things like that. Those ones are, have a slower drying time than these, but because I put so much on it, it's going to be a bit longer. With my tweezers, I'm gently removing the pieces because I do not want to cause any um, rubbing of the wet pieces onto my cardstock. Oops. Okay. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way. And here you have the background now. Okay, so I'm going to just move this up a little bit. Not wrong way. Okay, so here's our background. It's all, it's, it's just beautiful. If you actually turn it to different, um, every which way, it's uh, shimmering with a bronze, a nice bronze glow. It is beautiful. It really makes for a nice background. And with the spritzer, I mean, there's just so many different applications that you can use. So use it as a background for a card. Use it to create a background for a little box. Um, either which way, I guarantee you're going to love the results. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and you have a wonderful day.